Hey everybody, this is Eric from the MMG. Welcome to our channel. Today I'm going to show you how to set up a PAL World dedicated server using Steam CMD on a Windows machine. Before we get much farther though, please hit that subscribe button. It's what drives this channel and keeps us making these videos for free for you. And also consider becoming a member of the group. You can become a member and get access to a lot of special rewards within the channel, including all your questions will get answered first in the comments below. I'm not guaranteeing I'm going to have the answer to all of them, but I will try my best. So please consider that. It supports us and keeps us growing. All right, this game, I mean, this came out of nowhere. It's blown up. I see stuff everywhere. I had people asking me in my other dedicated servers how to make it. I actually didn't get my review copy of the game. Um, I did apply for it in Keymailer, but I got passed up. So um, Pocket Pair, if you're watching, I'm broke. I can't buy the game. Please send me a key. I'm going to spend, you know, I've spent hours making this video. I'll tell you right now. Um, so I would appreciate your support, Pocket Pair, if you're watching. All right, let's get started. First thing we need to do is download Steam CMD. If you already have it, you can skip this step. If you don't, just go to Google, type in Steam CMD, hit enter. Your first result is going to be Valve De uh, Developer Community. Click on that. Then you're going to see the Windows package here. It's what we're using. And then you click on the one right here next to download Steam CMD for Windows 1. Click on that. It will download it wherever your downloads go. Just execute that zip file. I recommend you always put it in a spot that's easy for you to find. I have a shortcut here um, on my desktop and then it all my files are here directly on my C drive. Um, if you just have Steam CMD on it, just execute it for the first time, and it will actually take a second to download some files and update the files if you already have it, um, and fill up this folder with stuff that you need, which is, well, very important. All right, next thing we need to do, once this is completely done, you're at the Steam prompt, you need to type in login space anonymous, then hit enter, and it's gonna log you in. Some games require you to log in with your Steam username and password if you have to own the game to host a server. But luckily you don't have to own this and that's why I'm able to do this. You can do it anonymously. Okay, once you're logged in now, we're gonna download the actual files for the server. Um, so you need to type in app underscore update space and then the ID for the dedicated server is 2394011. Zero, and then you hit enter, and you're gonna see it's gonna actually start downloading the files. This could take a various amount of time depending on your connection, uh, you know, and how big the download is. So you just need to wait for this to finish to get back to the command prompt. All right, once it is finished downloading, it should be at a prompt like this. You can type in exit to close that window out now. Then go back to your folder where you had Steam apps, and you want to go in, or where you had Steam CMD. You want to go into Steam apps, common. And then you should see a, a folder here called Pell Server. You want to go in there. That's the files we just downloaded. Um, you're going to see a Pell Server.exe. That's what we want to execute. Um, go ahead and run that real quick. It should just open a prompt like this. Let it set for a couple minutes. Um, do its thing, and then you can actually close it out. And now we're going to create a .bat. So right click here in your window and do New. We're going to do a text document, and we're going to name this Start server.bat and hit enter. It's going to ask if you want to change the file type, hit yes. If it didn't do that and yours says .bat.txt, come up here to the top where it says view in your window and you want to put a check mark here where it says file name extensions. So check mark that and then you can actually change the extension by the name like I just did. All right, now we want to edit this. You can do text editor. Always recommend Notepad++ if you don't have it. It's a great free tool. And uh, we're going to figure this out here. So these are the default information that you can find for this game. Um, server name, obviously very important. Let's change it to the Mature Minded Gamers. <clears throat> this, is, this is all you want to leave alone. Your port's going to be the port you need to open in your firewall. That's your router's firewall and your Windows firewall. I don't show you how to do your router firewall or your Windows firewall in this video. If you need help with the Windows firewall, I do have a video on my channel. It will be in the description of this video. Click on that, and that will show you, show you how to open or forward ports on a Windows firewall. It's very similar to how your router's gonna gonna be, but they all look different. And they all kind of handle it differently. Um, so there's no way for me to tell you how to do that because everybody's router's different. So, all right, so we have this done. Um, we're gonna hit File, Save. Make sure you save your file. 
And um, like I said, you gotta make sure this port's open. Whatever you set, you can change it here too if you don't want it to be the default port. All right, now we're gonna execute this start server.bat and it should execute into a window like this, which is exactly what you want. All right, so our next step um, after you've started the server and shut it back down, you want to go to this default pill world settings.ini folder right here. We're gonna edit that. It actually, this isn't what you wanna do, but this, is, uh, this isn't what you wanna edit, but this is where we wanna copy the settings. So these are all the settings that we can put in here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually grab this, highlight everything from the slash script down to the bottom here, and then we're gonna copy it. And because it tells you here the change of server settings, you need to modify this file, which is where we're gonna to go to next. So once you have that copied, uh, we wanna go into um, that folder. So we wanna to go to pal, and then you, you'll see a save folder, because that's where we, your new stuff was saved at when you started that server for the first time. And you wanna go into config, Windows Server, and then if you scroll just a little ways down, you'll, you'll have a Pell world settings that I and I. And if you open it, mine was empty. Yep, still is empty. Yours should probably be empty too. This is where we're gonna paste all those settings that we just saw into. And this is where you can adjust the settings for your server. So if you wanna scroll through them, there's a lot of settings here, uh, attack speed, all that stuff. Um, go back towards the end and you're gonna to get to the ones that we want to change. So this is your, you know, your ports, your Archon ports here, your public port if you wanna make this something uh, other than the standard. Uh, this is where you're gonna put in your server password, admin password, whatever you make that, server description, Default Pell World Server, this is the name, so we want to change that. Make it, whoa, whoa, I went, I went off the rails there, hold on. One thing bad about having this all in this one line like this, um, a little messy, so make sure you're careful with what you're editing. We'll be the mature-minded gamers. Oops, okay. And then if you keep going, there's more settings, number of people, you know, that can join all that stuff so you can look through all this and change what you want that's the stuff that you have to get changed and like i said you have to put in your ip don't forget to do that if you don't know what your public ip address is you can just google what is my ip and it will be the very first result for you that is your public ip address and once you have this done just go up to file and hit save all right once your server's up and running you're ready to join it and you and your friends are going to do join multiplayer game and then down here at the bottom there's going to be a direct connect option and you just punch in your external IP for your friends. If you are playing on the same LAN, so at home, um, you're going to want to put the internal IP address of your server. And so that's, for most people, it's going to be a 192.168.0 or .1 and then whatever the last octet is for that server. Um, when you're in your firewall and router and you're forwarding those ports that you need to do, um, you need to look and see what your internal IP address is anyway, so you know you're forwarding, all right? So let's say it's 120. And then you also need to put this, you need to put the 8211 as the port. Um, I did find out that that is the only port that works right now. So um, I know earlier when I showed you in the video, I said you can make it whatever you want. I think for right now, you just need to make it 8211 to get this to work as far as I can, under, as far as I can understand. Um, I think it must be hard coded somewhere in their game code. So you have to do that. So um, that would be like your internal join. Everybody else would join with your external IP address, which would be like, you know, whatever your external IP address is 134.23.68, something like that. And then they still have to put the port in at the end. And they should be able to connect and join, and you should be good to go. All right, now you should be good. As long as this is up and running, you should be able to see your server. If you don't see your server, again, most likely your ports are not open on your routers. Um, that's where 99% of the people who have problems get stuck. It takes some legwork. Make sure you Google how to open ports on your your router, and hopefully you'll come up with uh, a solution. Most, most of them are out there these days. Um, and like I said, if you need help with the firewall, I'll have the link to that video in this video description here, um, which will show you how to do that. So. All right, hopefully this video helped you set up your own Pell server and you can enjoy the game with your friends. Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And remember, if you have some questions, 
make sure you look at becoming a member of my channel even the lowest tier gets top priority on all comments on my videos so i'm i look at those first and i address those first so like i said if i can solve your problem i will help you the best that i can in the comments thanks for watching everybody have yourself a great day